Okay, today we're going to look at printing out our walls and such and platforms for a white model. One of the things we've got to think about is getting all of our uh, pieces so that we can cut them out, fold them up, and create a white model. This is the set from Crimes of the Heart that we looked at last time. So let's take a look first at doing a platform. So this platform is a whole bunch of separate pieces. First thing we're going to do is we're going to ungroup them, which we can do with Command U on a Mac and uh, Control U on a PC. And then we're going to add the solids so they become one piece. Excellent. If you've already saved your file to uh, a separate file just for doing uh, your white model, you can just move this piece out of your way. If not, uh, you can copy it. We're going to copy it for now. So we're going to copy it. Um, edit, copy, and just bring it off to the side and we're going to paste it. Edit, paste. Okay, now that we've got this over here, it's the right shape for the top, but remember, we're going to need to fold this so that it becomes, uh, in this case, six inches tall. So to do that, we're going to just draw the sides on it. Front. And the side. And what you can do here is instead of doing... Um, having to, to cut this at every point and, and figure out how to fold it. I like to just do some really long ones. And over here it looks like I missed. That's okay because I can double click on this and expand it. And copy this down here. And line it up. As long as I'm pretty sure I've got enough of this, um, I can uh, just print this out and then cut and fold it. It's going to be especially nice here where we've got kind of a weird angle going on here. And we'll do one more over here. Um, What's nice is I can even expand this to go this way, and I can have some overlap, and that's fine. The other thing we need to do is to put on some tabs so that we can fold them so they'll can glue to the top of the platform uh, in our uh, other places. Of course, these are just reminders. We can cut them out however we want to when we're actually going to build our model. The other thing we need to be able to connect to is the floor, because obviously this model, this uh, platform piece, needs to connect to the floor. Notice I'm not being real careful with these. These can be whatever size they need to be, um, just so that everything will glue to the floor nicely when it's all done. Okay, We've got this platform. Now let's go ahead and create a viewport for it. Okay, So to create a viewport, we're going to go uh, View, Create Viewport. Um, uh, no, in this case I left something selected. Normally you want to make sure nothing's selected. Create viewport. We're going to call the viewport platform. And we're going to create it on its own layer. New sheet layer. And why don't we go ahead and call that sheet layer platform for the moment. Or we could call it model pieces one. Okay, in this case we want a top view. So that's already set. And we want a quarter inch scale. That's already set. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And now we are coming over to a uh, drawing page. Now this is a little different than the plate where we've been working. We are now actually working on a piece of paper. This is a piece of paper. This is not our drawing. It is a picture of our drawing. Um, notice up here where we see our scale. 
um, if this whole drawing is eight and a half, or sorry, it goes from, uh, well, our size doesn't seem to be quite right. Let's go into page setup and get our size correct. Page setup. Ah, uh, yes, it says our width is 11 by 14. Let's go to printer setup. Up, oh, scale needs to be 100%. Click OK. And we're going to come over here and we're going to ask it to do one printer page. And okie dokie. Okay, so we need to get this to fit on one printer page here. This is the bit we want drawing. This is not the bit we want. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and move the bit I want onto the drawing. And we're going to go ahead and move this over. Okay, so I get the bit I want on the drawing here. And I got all this extra stuff. If it bugs you that you see it, I'm going to show you how to crop it out. You're going to right click or control click on your viewport. And remember, this is just a picture. And we're going to say edit crop. If you remember from uh, Photoshop or other programs you may have worked with, crop is the um, uh, cutting out parts of the picture we're not interested in. And remember, this is just a picture. So I'm going to select my rectangle tool, although I can use a closed polygon tool. I can actually use a polyline tool, a circle tool, an oval tool, whatever. What I'm doing is I'm drawing a box or a shape around the pieces I want to keep. Select that. Click Exit Viewport, Crop. And now I just have the bit of this that I want to see. This is excellent. This is exactly what I need. This is going to print out just fine. Okay, so we've done this. Let's also go look at setting up our walls. I'm going to go back to our uh, design. We're going to come here and we're going to grab the walls. And I'm going to give us an example by looking at this um, pantry unit. Now this pantry unit, when I cut it out, it's going to be one, two, three, four walls that we need to print out and look at uh, and fold to create our set. Uh, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box around them and copy them. Box around the stuff I want and copy. Again, you can do edit copy or command C on a Mac or control C on a PC. And I'm going to come over here to the side and I'm going to paste it. Again, edit paste or command V. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this and I want to, I'm going to create this using a front view. So I want this to be facing perfectly to the front. So I'm going to rotate it around. Okay, I rotated the whole thing. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to rotate each individual wall. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit and move over. And I'm going to rotate just this wall so that it's flat. Okay. I'm going to grab these two walls together because I need to flatten this whole thing out. Okay. Select, grab this corner right here, and rotate this out. Okay. And don't worry about the gaps. These gaps are going to actually make it a little easier for us to see. Okay, now I'm going to select just this wall. And again, select the very corner of it. And rotate it out straight. Okay, what this is now giving me is this is giving me my walls. And my walls uh, laid out so that I can just print them out and fold them. Okay. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to create a viewport. View, create a viewport. And we're going to call this viewport um, uh, pantry. And I'm going to create this on a sheet layer. I'm going to call this one walls because I'm going to be able to get oops, sheet two. I'm going to be able to get several of them on here. So I create this called Walls. And one difference here is I want View. I want a front view this time. I'm going to front view. Okay. And I'm going to set my rendering as hidden line. Again, it shouldn't really matter in this, um, but that's fine. We're going to do hidden line. We're going to click OK. And we're going to come in here, and oh look, we've got this whole big thing, this whole big viewport. And we don't want all this stuff, so we're going to do a crop again. So we're going to right click, and edit crop, and draw a rectangle about that stuff that we want. Here we go. And exit crop. And update, when it's got the red line around it, it means it needs to update something. 
Excellent, we're gonna drag this over and put it on the page. A couple of things I wanna show you. So you might wanna put tabs on this so that it's gonna fold nicely, okay? That's easy to do. Um, you can just draw on your piece of paper like this. The disadvantage of doing this is if I at some point go back and say, ooh, I want to move this section so I get more on the page. Oh, my tabs don't go with it. Let me show you a better way of doing that. I'm gonna right click on this again and I'm gonna edit annotations. Edit annotations is a way to draw on my picture. So I wanna put little bottom uh, hooks on this so that it will uh, attach to the floor nicely. Okay. And I might actually want to go through and connect the dots here. And in theory, and if this is off by a smidge of a smidge, it'll be just fine. But by connecting the tops, top and bottom, uh, and this will only happen if you're folding your walls in one direction, another way they will uh, connect perfectly, or at least they should. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and with my snaps on, window palettes snapping, whoops, they were on, window palettes, window palettes snapping, here they are. Um, I have uh, my endpoints, my objects, um, and my angle. And that's going to allow me to snap to the midpoints here. Oops. Snap to the midpoint, top and bottom. Snap to the midpoint, top and bottom. And that's going to have that exact place where I want to uh, cut my wall or uh, fold my wall. Okay, so they're on there. And the nice thing about doing this in edit annotation, edit viewport annotation, is now. When I move my wall around, oh look, everything goes with it. And in fact, if you're afraid of forgetting what this is, you can actually go in here and edit annotations and write pantry. So this is here. I'm gonna do one other wall and show us what we can do here. Go back to our master sheet. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and grab this whole um, back wall here with my uh, furniture and all. Oops, I grab the wall. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to bring it over here. Remember, we're doing front view, so I can't place it back here because this wall will be blocking it. So i got to place it next to it. And we're going to paste. Okay. Oh, we got a little bit of wall I didn't want. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Let's go ahead and rotate this. Select all of this. And we're going to rotate this. Okay, now on this one, we've got a uh, um, couple things to worry about. So we're gonna go ahead and create our viewport. Um, model, Oops, sorry, view, create viewport. And again, we're going to do a front view. And we do want this on sheet two walls. We're going to call this kitchen wall. And we want this hidden line. And okie dokie. And we're going to go more back on this page. And uh, we're going to edit our crop. And we're going to draw a rectangle about the bit we want and exit crop and excellent you know what i think i forgot to check my page on this while we're here let's just do our page setup yep so printer setup 100 percent and one printer page okay and let's go ahead and oh we need to move this over here okay uh, nope and we're gonna bring this over here Okay, so this is gonna print out. The only issue is, for us, is that 
we're going to need to, we've got our this, but this actually needs to stick out. So there are a couple ways we can do that. The easiest way I think for us to do this is, I'm going to just move this over here. Get this all the way on the edge of the page. And oh yes, we did get a little extra wall in there. Uh, we don't want this little bit of the uh, side wall, so I'm going to pop back to my model and go ahead and delete that for the moment. Oh, there it is. Ha, got it. Delete it. And here is what's really cool about these viewports, because although they're just a picture of our set, come back here. And when I zoom in, it's a picture of our set, but it's a picture of our set that updates. And so since I've taken the picture, uh, I've showed it what uh, to make it. When I go back and edit the picture, or we'll go back and edit my drawing, the picture updates. Okay, so I've got this. This is great for my back wall. And I want to put uh, tabs on it uh, on the side. I might want to put a little, a little tab on the side uh, that I can use to, uh, oops, this is a triangle that I can fold back so that this wall will stand up nicely. I'll just do a little thing so it'll stand up. Oops, and click. Oops, again, I should have done that as an annotation. Where I can move it around if I need to. There we go, and let's do one on the other side. I'm just going to use my mirror tool, and there's one on the other side. And maybe a quick tab along the bottom. So my mirror tool on, my, line, on my rectangle tool, quick tab along the bottom so this will glue nicely. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Now I've got these, and the thing is, I'm going to want all this stuff to fold back. So I'm going to exit this viewport. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to copy this viewport. And I can do that because uh, it's a viewport. It's now an object. So if I hold down uh, Option on the Mac, and I forget what it is on the PC, go through your sh uh, Option, Shift, Control, etc. until you get the little plus sign next to your your move tool, and I'm gonna drag that over and that creates a copy. I'll just drag it up here. There's plenty of room, there we go. Okay. And now what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to create this so that I can create a piece that's gonna fold back um, and give all this, but give it the dimension that it needs. Okay, and for a white model, if I've got the front and the top and the sides are open, that's probably just a-okay. Okay, so I've got a fridge, and I need to figure out how big my fridge is. Couple of ways to do this. I could copy this again and go over to Vectorworks. I can quickly uh, jot down my measurements um, and convert them to quarter inch scale, which is to um, uh, measure it in inches and then divide by 48. Um, and I can go through, and my fridge is probably 30 inches deep. Um, and you can quickly uh, check what that is. 30 inches is two and a half feet. Uh, so in quarter inch scale, that's half an inch plus an eighth of an inch. So that's five eighths of an inch. Um, and we're gonna edit our annotations. And probably all these things in the kitchen are probably that same depth, 30 inches. So um, again, that's, so I'm gonna come along here and my snaps even work. Oops, and... I want to go here, um, 5 eighths, which is 0.625 inches. Actually, I can just type in uh, 5 eighths. Oh, this actually, sorry, I'm incorrect here. Uh, because we're actually in the annotation, this is actually in um, uh, our picture units. 
so I can put my 30 inch block there. Okay, my countertop is going to be this whole section. And, and actually, all of this is going to be 30 inches and it's all the same height. So I can just draw a rectangle here across the top of my counter. And 30 inches. And I don't need these side tabs anymore because what I'm going to just do is I'm going to cut out this section, that is my countertops, fold these back, and maybe I want to do little tabs so I can glue these nicely to the um, back wall. I won't cut out the wall this time. I don't need the wall this time. And then I can fold this back and then this underneath and glue it to the back wall. Fold this back, fold this back, fold this to underneath the wall. And now I have all my appliances looking um, nice and dimensional. And I did that by just copying the tab. Okay, I'm going to now have to do that for all my walls. Okay, staircases, furniture, you can build in an exploded view whether you do that um, by copying the furniture or whether you do that by just building um, quick rectangles. Um, uh, cubes that you can fold and you're going to just print all these items out and cut them out uh, and fold them. Uh, if you can print them out on cardstock even better if you're printing them out on regular paper we're going to need to glue them to our um, cardstock so we can make our model. Excellent. Have a great day.